trip. I'm taking the trip, but not really. I'm going away, but I'm Catch you in a rap. 
So here I was with all this information. Here I was with all this information being thrown at me. But what I couldn't understand was how they were able to learn in those stuffy little back rooms, smoking on those strange looking cigarettes. Cigarettes bigger than anything I ever saw my Aunt Georgia smoke. And they kept passing it around. It seemed like the more they passed this thing around, the sleepier and sleepier everybody got. So when they offered me my pop, they said, Dick, sister, have a talk. I took a drag on it and felt so sleepy. My eyes turned red, and I tried to look as interested as I could. When some brother said to me, Sister, do you know what it means to be black? Well, now let's see. <laughs> My grandfather worked in a steel mill, and he was black. My brother worked in a chemical plant, and he was black. My grandma had raised all of us, and she was black. In fact, every person I had ever met in my life up until that point had been black. But I figured that because he sounded so intelligent and his hair was standing so high on his head that he must have known what he was talking about. This was my first night away from home and all I wanted to do was to go to sleep. And he was telling me that what I needed to do was to go to Africa. Your roots, sister. Where are you from? St. Louis, Missouri. Your ancestors. My grandma and my grandpa. Your purpose. Your aim. I just want to get out of here and finish school. <laughs> Africa. That's it, sister. <laughs> you fine. Yeah, sister. Just then a woman in the corner turned to me and said, just who do you think you are? <laughs> White? Now I have been caught a lot of things in my life. But white? May I please go to the other dorm now? That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> but the brother was looking at me through his eyes as though he could read my mind. And he could see my knees shaking. And he was thinking, not unless you want me to split your legs in two like a wishbone. But instead, he said, about Africa here amongst all these students with all their books, when all I could recall was my grandmother's voice saying to me, honey, there are two places you should never go in your life. One is Mississippi, and the other is Africa. <laughs> September 16, 1975. Dear Janique, the company has offered Michael a position in South Africa. They're going to pay all our expenses relocating, provide us with a house, and they're giving us a car. It's a definite promotion. Manager in the field in charge of the Cape Town office. More benefits, more responsibility, a higher salary. We can't afford to turn it down. And I figure I can do some freelance writing work. It's going to be interesting. So we're going. I, of course, keep thinking, well, maybe it can affect company policy over there. I mean, all they need is one very vocal manager in the field to make them see the light. Pretty naive, huh? You know, if you had told me when we were in college that I would be going to South Africa someday with my husband for business reasons, I would have said you were jealous of my political commitment and the fact that I had a boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> but you're the one who's really kept the pace, Janique. I admire that. And I miss you, girl, you know? One of these days, we've got to get together. We have a lot to catch up on. Someday. I'll write as soon as we get there. Take care. And don't work too hard. 
Love, Francis.
stretches. Hi. Hi. I'm just doing some stretches. Come here. I want to show you something. In there? Yeah, it's my space. <laughs> Look at this. It's a picture of my boyfriend, Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a dog. I can't even see his face. <laughs> he's cute, huh? Oh, yeah, he's cute. I just love his hair. Hey, do you have like a boyfriend? Yeah, I got a boyfriend. Oh wow, do you have like a picture of him? Yeah, I got a picture of him. Oh, far out. Can I see like the picture of like your boyfriend? Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs>
start getting really good at that. <laughs> Thanks. That's about the only place I feel like I'm getting good at anything around here. I'm leaving. What? I'm getting out of here. I'm fed up. I'm fed up with the hippies. I'm fed up with the dog shit. Oh, come on. <laughs> we only got a year left. You can get out. You can do whatever you want. Well, that's easy for you to say. God, you know what I'm fed up with? I'm fed up with you always telling me how easy it is for me. I mean, you're the one with the scholarship. Now you just want to throw it away. You know, my family is busting ass to send me here. That's not my problem. This school came and solicited me. They wouldn't have gotten the federal funding if they had. Oh, come on, Janique. That's beside the point. I mean, what I'm saying is I have tiptoed around you for three years now. I have listened to you complain about everything from the food in the cafeteria to the politics to the dogs. You know, I've lived with your mess. I mean, look at this stuff. It's all over the floor. Well, that grandma was a maid. I ain't gonna be nobody's maid. Hey, nobody's asking to be a maid. I'm just asking to pick your shit up off the floor. I mean, for Christ's sake, I bent over backwards to be your friend. Why? Because you thought it was cool. You thought it was a good idea. But living day in and day out with a nigga is something. Oh, I didn't say that. Oh, shut up. You're just a phony liberal. Just like all the rest of them around here with your credit card dangling out the back pocket of your torn jeans. Oh, yeah? Well, you're full of shit. You know, why do you think I work in the cafeteria? For my social life? No, I need the freaking money! I mean, my family has it hard, too. But they were never slaves. Well, neither are you. How do I know that in some parts of this country, black folks just got the vote four years ago? You know what? That's not my fault. Would you just stop with the history lesson? I know what it means to be poor and black and living in America. And I've read enough history to know it didn't change yesterday and it ain't changing it day. No, it's not going to change unless you stop complaining and get up off your ass and change it. Okay, you're a history major. Make history! South Africa, here, or anywhere there are human beings to be exploited in some field, factory, mill, or mine, losing life or limb in some battle with machinery, in conditions too horrible to imagine, fumes too thick to inhale. People earn their names by the sweat of their backs. Bodies move and ate their life stories. Dancing feet stomp, beat, kick out the rhythms of their misery. And everywhere it is the same. 
Hey, there is so little difference between you and me. <clears throat> we must work to be free. We must work to be free. And who are we to one another in history? Our fates are intertwined like an African tapestry. And we must work. year-old boy in Soweto. He was part of a peaceful demonstration against Arthur Connor in the schools. And then they opened fire on a group of school children, mourners at his funeral. There's a general strike and the schools are closed, but I don't know how much longer it can go on. The police will stop at nothing to keep the people here afraid. I want to shed my white skin and crawl out of this guilt I feel. What are we doing here? And I haven't heard from Lydia for over two weeks now. I can't imagine what's happened to her. I'm worried. Please write. You don't know what a letter from you would mean to me right now. And take care.
呀，叫叫叫叫叫叫！哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈哈！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊！啊
alien, not changing. Hit it, boys! My name is Lydia. My name is Lydia October. I am from Cape Town. I run a shebeen there. I'm colored. You all know me. I serve everybody. A lot of different kinds of people come in. I am a member of the Property Damage Action Committee. There was a group that used my place for their meetings. My son got involved with them. We were all working within the committee. My son, my daughter, my daughter-in-law. I went along because my children were involved and I felt I had to. But I was always worried. I was never afraid for any of them because our struggle is too important. How can we fight anything so large? I don't see how our little efforts are going to change anything. My son always said, this is a beginning. Mother, this is a beginning. I was too old to believe that. Each week, it was my responsibility to deliver a message. I would carry it in my bundle for the wash. I'd carry it down to the stream where I'm met by a woman who exchanges a bundle with me. My son asked me to do this before he went into prison. I couldn't let him down. Anyway, we exchange bundles. Then I take hers back to the bar to be picked up. This was just another Thursday. I carried my bundle. I didn't even know what was in it. Perhaps there was a map or a blueprint. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. My woman did not show. She wasn't there. Instead, there was a man waiting. Just by the looks of him, I knew he wasn't from the area. A man caught me by surprise. I could see his reflection in the wall. He grabbed my shoulders and asked me what I was doing there. I said, what do you want? This is a place for women. He said, tell me everything you know about the property damage action. I said nothing. I didn't know what to say. I was so frightened. He tore my necklace away, the one with my son's photograph in it. He held it. He said, I know where your son is. If you don't talk now, you'll never see him again. I screamed. I said, oh, please, I'll do anything. Don't hurt my son. I tried to bite him, to scratch him. He said, wait. Look in this bundle. I think there's something you want. He looked at the bundle and I grabbed onto it and held onto it as tight as I could. I let him have it. He said, lucky thing for you, you were wise. He kicked me. He threw my son's necklace back at me. He grabbed the bundle and I spat at him. I wiped the dirt off my son's photograph. He, he took, took me away. away. You know, Janique, it wasn't until then that I realized how very little I knew about Lydia's life, what it felt like. It's hard for us as Americans to understand the sort of terror brought upon the people here by the government.
He asked me if I still live there. I said yes. He asked me my age. I told him. He asked me if I went to school. I said no. He asked me if I had any brothers or sisters. I told him. He asked me if he could see me again. And I said yes. How old are you? 
Married? Who's your husband? Bantu. How are you classified? Colored. Children? How many? School? Why not? Where's your husband? Dead. Where are your parents? Dead. Where are your brothers and sisters? Dead. Once a year the man comes home, the man comes home but once a year, once a year the man comes home, the man comes home but once a year. Her husband had to work in the mines far away. In the dark we sit and talk when the man comes home once a year. In the dark I try to see his face getting older 
Dr. Lydia's hearing. I went to see her family. She had always spoken with such pride about her daughter. I wanted to meet her. It took me a long time to find the house. It was far from my own. to help my mother, don't be afraid to speak of her. I tried everything I could to get Lydia released. I only managed to find out where she was being held, and I let her daughter know. And then I decided to leave South Africa with my child. I decided it was time to go home. La 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 and it's been over a year. Come tell that to the children. Well, I wanted to talk to you about that, but do you think they would be interested in South Africa? We have to make them interested. We have to begin to teach our children what has taken us so long to learn, that it's not where you're from that's important. It's where the struggle is. Well, you're right about that. <laughs> One thing I know for sure, it's not over yet. No, in fact, sometimes I feel like we're at a new beginning. Take Francis. Look at that incredible sunset. Yeah. You know, Lydia said this thing to me once, I'll never forget it. She said, if I die, I will die a happy person because I have seen the rays of our new South Africa rising. Bring that to the children. I will. And bring Bobby with you. Oh, yeah, that's a great idea. Oh, Janique. It is so good to see you. Francis, welcome back home, girl. Mm -hmm. 